Hey there guys, yo and hello, Moonlight Butterfly Miku back again, and I'm doing something completely different today. I am actually doing an episode review of a show that I have literally been obsessed with for years. It's called As Told by Ginger. I'm sure a lot of you may remember it. It's a very underrated cartoon, but it's very good too, because I love, I love everything about it. Like, it's really great and it's actually what got me into writing is ginger <laughs> she actually got me in more into writing so that's another reason why i love this show but today i'm gonna talk about an episode in particular that literally pushed me to the brink it got me mad and a lot of people who are into this show because i just actually started re-watching the whole series again from beginning to end i'm almost done but when this episode came i was pissed to all hell literally and a lot of people can agree with me this episode is from um, season three episode four and it's called wiki game so here's a basic synopsis of the episode as a whole so ginger spent an um she spent an um what you call it a semester sorry got my words all jumbled up she spent the semester at avalanche arts academy and when she comes back dodie and macy are happy to see her. Oh, by the way, before I get into this, this is spoiler territory. So if you haven't seen this episode yet, you can go to watch cartoons online and check it out if you'd like. And so you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But if you don't want to hear any spoilers, then don't watch because I'm spending my spoil the whole episode. But anyway, <clears throat> so Dodie and Macy are super excited. They've been counting down the days till she got back home. She's finally back home. But the thing is, um, Darren and Ginger just started dating from the last episode. They just started because they um, became an item. So they're boyfriend and girlfriend now. And Ginger is in the honeymoon phase with Darren. She won't go anywhere without him. So she kind of ignored them in the beginning when she got back to school and they were calling her. Meanwhile, Miranda and Mipsy, the mean girls, they were just trying to get her attention so they can embarrass her and make her feel like crap like they always do. But she's so in love. She's not seeing it. She's ignoring it. So pretty much, of course, Dodie being the jealous bitch that she is, she got mad because, oh, you're ruining the BFF tradition, blah, blah, blah. We're happy to see you, and Darren's always there. So she pretty much goes on on a tangent, leaves her house, and gets mad. But here's the thing. <clears throat> when she's walking home, Miranda and Mipsy are just sitting there, and they're already trying to hatch up some evil plot. As you can see in this picture there with her sitting on the stairs, they're trying to like convince her, oh yeah, you getting tired of Darren? Yeah, we got this plan that we're going to break them both up. I'm like, really? And then Dodie's dumb ass goes and, oh, she goes and she goes along with it, bringing Macy into it too. Now, if, mm, oh, where do I even begin? Like, why would you do something like that? Just because you're jealous because Ginger has a boyfriend now? You should have known things is going to change. Like, come on now, for real? So they get duped into this stupid plan to break up Ginger and Darren. But I got to give the medal to one person in this episode. And that's Courtney Grippling right there. See, Courtney overheard what they were doing. So she went and she took it upon herself to tell Ginger, hey, look what your best friends is doing. They're literally trying to break you and Darren up. And they're going along with Miranda and Mipsy's plot. At first, of course, Ginger doesn't believe her because she wouldn't believe that her so-called best friends would try to do something like that to her, knowing that she's very happy with Darren. But no, it was true. So what, what Courtney did was she hatched her own little scheme. Um, she said to like call her and she's going to put them all on a four-way call so that they could, um, it, so she she can get them to confess what they did, and that it is true that she wasn't lying. And once Ginger found out, she was very heartbroken, as she should be. She was heartbroken. And she was hurt because she would never believe that her friends, her best friends since kindergarten, would do something like that to her. So she was upset. And here's the thing that really pisses me off too. Dodie leaves a half-assed answering machine message on her yeah, message on her answering machine saying oh i'm sorry i didn't mean to yeah this is this is really what i want to address too why does ginger continue to keep dodie as a friend dodie has never done anything to treat her like a real friend she's jealous she's needy and she's always thinking about herself rather than thinking about anyone else i don't know why ginger kept her around and here's the bigger kicker and then the very next episode to follow called The Easter Ham, it was never mentioned again. 
the whole conflict was never mentioned again and they went right back to being BFFs again. I'm like, oh, hell no. I'm like, nah, because see, you don't push the line. Had it been me, I would have dumped both of y'all and been done with y'all. Like, because that they crossed the line with that. You don't do some sneaky underhanded stuff like that. So that's what really, really really pissed me off about this episode. I mean, it just, ugh, I don't know how she just let them get away with that scot-free. There would have been penalties for that, man. I mean, like, not even penalties. I would have just stopped talking to you because you OD'd. You crossed the line. What she should have did was just stuck with Courtney for a while because Courtney was the only true friend in this episode. She was nice enough to tell her, even if she didn't want to believe her, she felt it was her duty to know. Otherwise, she would have kept being oblivious to it, you know? So it's just like, ugh, ugh, I hate this episode so much. It has gotten under my skin so bad. And the fact that, that Ginger is so sweet, caring, and nice that she just seemed to just overlook this whole thing that her two best friends did. And it was funny when they got caught, actually, because when Courtney, Courtney was pretending to go, that she wanted to go along with the plan just to get them to confess that that's what they were doing. And then when, when um, she told, Courtney told Ginger to mute her phone so that they can't hear her. But when she, when they said that's what they were doing, when they admitted that they were in the scheme to break up Ginger and Darren, that's when she clicked the phone on. She was like, thank you, Courtney. I heard enough. I was like, oh, y'all got busted. Y'all got busted. Y'all got busted. <laughs> That was hilarious. I was like, y'all are some fucking, uh, y'all are ridiculous. I was so mad. But anyway, guys, yeah, that's pretty much my review of it. And I know a lot of people can agree with me. If you actually have seen this episode, you'd be pissed off too. So I was just like, oh my God, I can't believe she forgave them. Because I wouldn't have, believe you me, I would have, I don't care if we would have had history together or whatever. You crossed the line, I'm done with you. That's it. Nope. Maybe somewhere down the line we could have maybe reconciled, but from that moment, just the very next day to act like nothing happened and never bring it up again? Really? Like, really? Like, come on, man. Ugh. And, and for the record, I hate Dodie. I hate her with a past. She is my least favorite character in this show. I can't stand her because she's nothing but a fake ass friend to Ginger. And Ginger, for some reason, just doesn't want to let her go. But she should because she needs to realize, you know, she, she's selfish. She's needy. She All she cares about is being popular. If it doesn't benefit her, then it doesn't matter. I don't like that kind of things. But Ginger seems not to care. But anyway, guys, yeah, that's about it. That's all I can say about this episode without getting me pissed off. Like, cause the more I talk about it, the more pissed I get. You actually have to see the episode. I can only show the stills because I know if I put apart from the thing, they're going to take it down. So that's why I just showed the still pictures of it. And it, like I said, if you want to go and check this out yourself, don't take my word for it. But if you want to check it out yourself, go to Watch Cartoons Online or any other place where you can watch these old shows and check it out. It's season three. Um, episode four, Wiki Game. So that was my very first ever episode review. And like I said, it pissed me off. This episode really pissed me the hell off. That's all I can say about it. But I'm going to end it here, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed my very first ever episode review of As Told by Ginger. And if you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you actually seen the episode, let me know what you thought of it down below. I'll pin a question there. So guys, thanks so much for watching. If you want me to do um, any more um, reviews on maybe like cartoon episodes or whatever, just let me know down in the comments too and I'll see if I can make it happen. All right guys, take care. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.